Today I play as the nation of Maregehe. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know, I've never heard of it either. It's a two province large, extremely poor nation that can be released from Karakuyunlu. My goal for this video, to destroy Karakuyunlu and become a great power, while at the same time trying not to get destroyed by the Ottomans, the Mamluks, and the Timurids. Yeah. Alright, right here we are as a Karakuyunlu ready to play another nation no one has ever heard of. Just kidding, if you've never heard of Marae right here, you've probably never played in this region. But there we go, let's right click on QQ Man, go down here, and there is Marae, definitely a super, super rare nation that isn't seen too much, man. You know, you pop out Iraq sometimes, you see Armenia formed, uh, Tabriz, it's known because, you know, it's a known province, Sauron too is pretty large, but like Basra and Marege, man, they're super, super rare nations. But nevertheless, here we are, man. We start off as a Shia and we're Azerbaijani culture. We can choose our tier one government reform. We are primitive. Not really, we're not primitive. We're a tribal nation. Luckily, we do have uh, feudalism that's that's going for us. And of course, as always, man, we're going to go with, um, with, uh, with the tribal despotism for the CCR right here because it is pretty important. Okay, so... Breaking from QQ Man, uh, deceptively easy, actually. It's not that hard because you can get big guys to support you, like uh, the rivals, Mamluks, the Jam, maybe even the Ottomans or the Timurids, depending on the game. So, yeah, breaking free, I don't think it's going to be too difficult this campaign. But what I hope is not going to happen is we get a big Ottomans here, a big Mamluks down here, and a big Timurids here. Like that, I'm just trapped here and I got to go north or south, which is not actually something I'm going to, I want to do. So I really do want to set up an alliance with the Ottomans. But in the meantime, we have Caucasian ideas plus 15% national manpower. I like that. And one attrition for enemies. That's good. Tax as a finisher, promoted cultures, merc stuff, lane leader maneuver. Okay. Prestige, legitimacy, army tradition, calf combat. So yeah, the starter ones are good, but then these other ones are mid and then the calf combat is pretty good. So yeah, let's enforce religious unity. I think I am going to... Actually, staying as Shia, man, it um, it uh, it might frick with our alliances. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, a month has taken over. Let me go ahead and do the estate stuff right here. Uh, let's get religious uh, diplomats as always. Where is religious diplomats? There it is. There's religious diplomats. Um, clerical education. Let's give the emirs primacy and increase right here. Merchants, land patronage, and indebted. And for the Dimi. Um, I am gonna give them, where is it, where is it, uh, I can't give it out just yet, I guess, but, yeah, uh, when I get Coptic or Orthodox, I'm gonna give them that thing as well, I forgot to summon the Diet, of course, sometimes I do that, uh, sell C's, and there we go, okay, so, QQ's rivals are just a jump for now, they wouldn't support us, because we're bordering each other, I think we should be able to get the Mamluks, though, so let's see what happens. Now, I did send a missionary, and I lowered maintenance, and I can accept Sunni Zealot's demands and flip Sunni, which would be excellent in getting some of these guys to support me. My fear is, though, uh, QQ forcing me back to be Shia, which they can do, and of course it's gonna cost a lot of prestige, but I am willing to risk it, so there we go, I'm gonna go with the uh, AE impact, actually. Uh, we are now Sunni, that should help. With getting support let's be khalifa let's enforce religious unity again that actually did help with the mamluks perfect yeah we can get them easy um i might be able to get a jump let's see a good thing about breaking free from qq man is because they never get strong allies right they're always ally like these minor guys over here which is excellent for me mamluks would already be willing to support us i think i can flip a jump as well and then the ottomans they would but they can't reach qq so yeah like, this is looking like these guys are going to help us, and then we go for the Ottomans alliance. Oh, I did an estate agenda. I forgot what it was, but I did it, apparently, and I got a general 40. Oh, I'm shocked. I'll take Hossein Shahi here any day, baby. Ah, oh, shit. We got a war. Uh, what happened? Uh, QQ declared for Shahi. That's Shirvana province, right? Yeah. And we're fighting a jump because they're allied. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this. Um, that gives us claims, right? Yeah, it does. This is actually good because QQ is going to lose manpower like this, no matter how the war goes, right? And if the war is still going on, I can deck in the middle of the war. Also converted my capital to Sunni. I guess we're staying Sunni since I did that. Um, yeah. I didn't check out the starting lure. 423 air 352. Okay. Okay, man. Truce is up. I got the Mamluk support. But this war is still going on. QQ has lost manpower. I think we just deck now. Yeah, we can beat them easily. All right, 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 right. Can I ask for mill axis here? All right, there we go. 
I got a black flag, but at least I won't die. Oh, shoot, dude. The man looks pieced out. Yeah, they're out of manpower. Okay, what can I do here? Uh, they're walking. They're going down. I can't. <laughs> My loans are so small. I was thinking about getting another Merc company up just to help me siege down the capital, but it's a level 3 fort. Okay, they would give me independence, and I can take stuff down here. Not too much, though, huh? Yeah, can I release a rock from any of these? No, it needs to be a rocky culture, right? Yeah, because they got good cores to reconquer, man, is the thing. Or Mashriki culture, sorry. They need to be Mashriki culture. Something like this, maybe? Yeah, it's not something I wanted to do. Look at this, man. This is nothing. I wanted to go for way more. Let's see the situation. They got 3k troops and no manpower. It's just these forts. I'm never going to get these forts. Okay, I can fight these guys. Oh, no, I can't. What about, I guess a John blew up. Oh, I can fight Ardalan. Then, hmm. Uh, they won't give me that, right? Nah. Realistically, I can't have 62 loans and I have only seven right now. And of course, they'll jump way up. So you know what, man? I'm making an executive decision right here. There's the free company and I'm actually going to get more loans. There's the, there's the, I need a siege guy. Correct. No siege guys. There's the Taberistan company. Okay, I gotta peace out now, because look, <laughs> I did occupy Tabriz, and I just got Ilam. I was siege racing the pretenders, man. Uh, I'm actually sieging pretty fast with these siege guys down here, so I, I gotta peace out now. I really gotta do it. Um, yeah, they won't give me that. Frick. Uh, I wanna border these guys so bad as the things... I, I gotta... Mm, what about Koi? Like that, I'd have to go through them. They're allied to Gilan, and then through Biapa, so I can not take Tabriz here. And also do this. One more province, maybe. They won't give me anything else, right? Nah, they wouldn't. Yeah, let's just take some money in that case. 33 ducats. But this is the peace deal, man. Okay, we're done. Now I gotta spend an Ardabil immediately. Go through them and then go through Biapas. And then get the, these guys over here as well. Because all of them are super weak. Says I'm gonna go bankrupt. Obviously I'm not. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna break my lance with the Mamluks here to ally the Ottomans. So yeah, loans have been uh, already restructured. It was extremely easy, but I just noticed I got a claim on Ardalan and their ally list, dude. Somehow, um, uh, yeah. There's the there's the deck. Timurids aren't strong, but they're not weak either. Yeah, really the biggest winner is Coruscant right here, as far as I can tell. So a jam. Oh, if they didn't have these allies, we could fight them. Well, that's an easily won war right there. Man, one siege helps out so much, apparently. These sieges are surprisingly fast. Okay, Ordabil is next. I know it seems like we're starting off super aggro right here, but it's it's just something that has to be done, right? So Ordabil, they're only to Gilan. I can't co belligerent Gilan because I fought them in the Independence War. They got a core on B up us, but nah. I think I white piece them, go for B up. Ah, frick. Yeah, really, I was rushing for them, but. <laughs> No point. Might as well vassalize Gilan or something. But yeah, let's let's deck on these guys. So look what happened, man. QQ also decked on Ardabil, which means if I vassalize Ardabil, I can also reconquer course from Biapas and drag in the Mamluks versus QQ again. Now, too bad I'm an idiot and I forgot to release Iraq from Tikrit, but <laughs> I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. And that'll also reset our, uh, well, fairly long truce with them to a longer one, but... I'll get stuff. Yeah, so I just white pieced Gilan there on low, and now we can make Ardabil our vassal, take all their money, and just like that, we're in a defensive war versus QQ, and there come the Mamluks again. Let's get it. I'm not gonna take stuff down here that uh, Iraq has cores on. So I. Ooh, if I take one more, I'll be able to release Syria from Rabbah as well. So maybe go for these two, Elam, and then stuff up here. Watch this mastercraft of uh, game openings, man. Some games it's so easy, like this. You don't expect this one to be easy, but it's so easy. And then other times, man, you literally can't get a game as Ria's unstarted. And that's another win versus uh, QQ. So yeah, let's take Sinjar and Raba. That's so little gross expansion, dude. Uh, I'm gonna take Yerevan definitely to border Georgia here. Let's take... Let's take, like I said, a non-Iraq cores, so we can go for Elam, Arbil, still only 20 aggressive expansion, man. Yeah, they're Shia, no one cares, dude. No one cares. I can take the Breeze, too. They've moved their capital off of there. Let's take Bayazid and Van as well. Let's take Nakchivan right here. Let's take, yeah, let's take that as well. Yeah, really not bad at all. And I'm going to release um, Syria and Iraq from two provinces, so I'm, I'm actually liking this quite a lot, man. No one hates me either. 
that's such a good start but uh yeah there we go let's go ahead and pop out syria and let's go ahead and pop out iraq oh actually they got three provinces but you know nevertheless there's still so many cores of theirs to reconquer perfect there's uh expand Marege. uh if we get another ally we'll be able to do both of these i'm gonna give the emirs um strong duchies too and let's give the demi guaranteed demi autonomy because i just got or uh, coptic and i'm gonna get orthodox provinces spying on georgia uh probably will be able to ally the man uh, royal mary the man uh, the ottomans and then ally them soon we got out of the renaissance too our capital Marege is pretty expensive but it has to be done man normally i do it down here but i popped out iraq right so it uh it obviously can't be done so let's do that expand infrastructure and yeah let's just uh push for the renaissance right here i do have quite a lot of points i am gonna you know use mm, them equally i don't want to fall behind on miltech let's do one more popping out syria when you want to stay allied to the ottomans or mamluks by the way boys in this region is not a very good plan because um you know obviously the mamluks start off with syria and then now they have syrian cores and the ottomans always very strongly desire uh these provinces here like the center of trade ones along with um with jerusalem so i don't know man what do we do curry favors with the mamluks beg them for provinces they're just so many i'd rather ally the ottomans and then deck on the mamluks already looking pretty good with dev i'm being real so i fought some rebels qq is being carved up aq took this farce is gonna take this they're only gonna be left in this one province which is excellent for me because uh well one of our goals will be very easily accomplished we really don't have anywhere to go now no one we can fight around us that's weak the only option is georgia so i'm gonna go for them um what's the point of this there's no point of this i am gonna co belligerent his and kaifa hold up look around the map I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna not move anything are you noticing anything there we go let me move the uh the cursor are you noticing anything extremely extremely rare besides me playing my reggae that's right venice has constantinople how did this happen what is happening here dude what is happening so austria fought these guys very early actually um we got like these weird remnants here venice allied lithuania so why didn't the ottomans fight biz man they're not gonna be strong this campaign unless the ottomans get constantinopoli they're not gonna be strong so it is worth keeping my alliance with the mamluks perhaps even allying or trying to ally austria poland or venice it may be possible and fighting the freaking ottomans i can't believe this happened and how did the pope get so big so fast does everyone hate him not really he's the pope well unless you're protestant but yeah there's a fairly easy war done quick peace out on ramazan they were in other wars as well let's let's peace out his and kaifa here give it to iraq because it's a core ah uh, now aq hates me so i real married aq improving relations with them but now because i gave that to iraq they despise me it was a province they strongly desired i wanted to ally them to make them give back bitlis and mosul to iraq and then raqqa to syria i can't do that now obviously so yeah let's just peace out georgia for these three i know i border the mamluk uh the ottomans like this but i'm not scared of them, man i just explained why Edwin five it's time for a first idea group religious would come in very handy in this region no matter if we're gonna continue to play uh, you know sunni or if we stayed shia because we got sunni we got shia we might have zoroastrian we got coptic we got orthodox right that's like four different big ones that are all are, are all going to be represented um, um fairly equally so i don't want to do that because uh opening up with an admin opener is lame right you lag behind on your second one boo hoo so yeah what's a good policy with religious right here let's uh let's examine um what do these have uh, exploration religious missionary strength and religious unity that's pretty good with offensive what about with defensive i know that's a great policy actually uh no it's not i'm stupid national arrest and attrition for enemies what the frick what about with quantity morale but i don't want quantity what about with quality um whereas uh, siege ability and morale damage <laughs> frick oh, but we we're not gonna have boats <laughs> you know what man offensive it is offensive religious that's what i'm gonna do offensive religious but yeah now we're pretty stuck now there's no one we can fight real oh wait oh wait loristan okay oh shoot aq likes me again nice nice we conquered new states because i'm stating stuff now this is gonna come in pretty nicely here the lowering of autonomy it's gonna help us out with cash quite a lot yeah there we go we're actually making money now that's sweet although yeah this isn't looking good i need an inflation reduction guy there we go now we're fishing for radical reforms as well oh so the ottomans are already involved with the mamluks but that's because they declared on karaman uh if, if they're bold enough to do this man they might be bold enough to deck on the mamluks 
these guys do outnumber them, but it's the Ottomans. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to ally Venice or Austria, though, or Poland, for that matter. I yeah, mean, we'll force aid up Luristan. They're too strong to fight-ish. Uh, not really, though. Just annoying. Timurids. Yeah, nope. I really want to fight Biapas. Or the Ottomans may not be willing to help a Shirvan here. Yeah, time to put down some buildings, man. Even though they're kind of expensive-ish because of the inflation. Because my guy is, uh, what, what you call it, that trait that makes it more expensive. It's got to be done. And listen, man, this... this <laughs> Look at what's happening in Europe. It's just so weird. Like, when does France do this? Like, sure, they fight Aragon, right? Sometimes they fight Aragon and they go for this. Why would they take the Balearic Islands, uh, what, what you call it, Sardinia, Sicily, like, Saluzzo's big. It's, it's such a strange game. And dude, if you haven't seen the uh, Venice take Constantinople in your last 20 games, you gotta hit that subscribe button. If you haven't seen it, you gotta subscribe that's just how it is i'm sorry fighting a bunch of rebels tier three got reform time let's just go for the oh, religious unity desperately needed now look at this man forest is fighting a jam right now in aq which is a jam's ally but Khorasan isn't willing to help out a jam i think we gotta go for it reconquest for baghdad no one will help me but i don't need anyone's help okay this war is done took quite a while because of the forts and you know sieging on biapas and sistan luckily we didn't have to siege them down they were on low as soon as we stepped there but yeah, AQ and Forest or uh, John were, were also in this. I don't know what happened there, but this war is done for me, man. This war is done for me. So let's just uh, transfer occupation of these four provinces right here to Iraq. Those are the cores that will go back to them. And then I, I think I'm going to take a pretty sizable portion of Forest. Yeah, maybe something like this. There's Sunni. We haven't fought too many Sunni guys so far. Maybe even no one. So I'm very satisfied with that. Let's take money too and... Uh, we're done. All right, nice, man. Expansion is looking really, really good. I'm satisfied. Um, Yeah, uh, 45 favors with AQ. I think I can start begging for some cores back. Uh, Apparently, I'm not allied to Akunlu anymore, and I haven't been for quite a while. <laughs> Why? And yeah, Timurids are on the come up, though. They didn't completely blow up. They are larger than they used to be. Ajam. We don't border Ajam. Yeah, I made Biapa send their alliance with Transoxiana, so that is possibly a thing let's spy on them maybe hmm? but we must not forget about the most important thing wiping out our former overlord karakuyunlu they don't have any allies we don't have a truce it's time to take some ganja and there we go the siege is done and we can full annex our former overlord and with that one goal is a success i'm liking that quite a lot man um we are 279 dev you know what I would say this campaign is going great. If I could find someone to fight. I guess Biapas won't be bad. Why would Muscovy declare this? Look at this, dude. They're fighting Nogai, the Timurids, and Chagatai. So Muscovy, they got 48k troops. Actually, pretty powerful. Nogai, the Timurids, Chagatai. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're looking at numbers. And they have the numbers. I wouldn't deck this war. It's, it's too annoying. I can't siege down these, what you call it, level 3 mountain forts in Chagatai, man. I'm getting so sick of these rebels, man. We need religious, like, stat. Okay, there's there's religious. Okay, I'm gonna deck on Biapas here. Reconquest for some of Ardabil's cores. Let's just declare for whatever. There we go, Astara. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna feed all of them to Ardabil just to save some admin points here. Now, this is a rarely seen nation, man. Caramon, yo. I can't can't believe I'm seeing these guys. Yeah, I think we've played them, actually, if I'm not mistaken. If I told you how many rebels I'm fighting, you guys won't believe me. And listen, man, if we can't get cores back from AQ, might as well get them back from the main look. So there's return core province. I'm just going to go in order here. Let's do Tadmore. Great, they gave me two provinces and now they hate me. Working on the economy and the army now, but you know what they say, boys. If you can't beat them, even if they haven't taken Constantinople, sometimes... You gotta join them. And because my uh, truce with the Mamluks is close to expiring right here, I am planning on doing precisely this. Okay, I'm gonna annex Ordabil here. Yeah, let's give the nobles um that. They never end, man. They really never end. I took away guaranteed Demi autonomy, by the way. Frick it, I'm converting everything. This guy is absolutely horrible. I just noticed I had him because he just got the trait. And I do need Zealot actually quite a lot. But I don't need a 2-1-1, bruh. And they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. There you go. That's more like it, man. Shout out Shabazz, the, the Giga Chad. 
Uh, Tribal Warfare. Uh, what do we have here? The Attrition one will be good. Ooh, Color uh, Agassi Regiments. I forgot these guys exist. Lane Leader Shock is going to go really nice with Offensive, man. And uh, Autonomy Change, Reinforced Cost, Miltech Discount for sure. This is what I'm going with, right? Yeah. Yeah, Colonialism has rolled around. In some other games, we have been eligible for a win at this point. But uh, no, we are <laughs> not that far off. Uh, well, uh, actually we are. Oh, I'm gonna start my golden arrow. Ooh, just as I was getting ready to hit the Mamluks, I noticed that the Ottomans decked on the knights in the Ottoman Conquest of Rhodes. No, 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 let's not... Well, actually, they're pretty smart. Yeah, uh, that's exactly what I would do, too. This Venice is allied to Lithuania and a Castile who has Aragon. <laughs> so, yeah, good move there, Ottomans, if you take Constantinople. I don't think they will, though. It's too high depth to take it without co-belligerenting it for the AI, I think. But this has been a blessing in disguise because I can fight Shirvan, take their provinces without the Ottomans coming in, and I can also connect to this his and Kaifa bit uh, that Iraq has. They did lose their cores, but, you know, still worth it. Oh, 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 very, very worth it. Yeah, so I'm actually going to transfer Rock over to Syria here. Let's give them that. And then I'm going to take like... Yeah, I'm going to take all of that. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I'm an idiot. That wasn't a separate piece. <laughs> that wasn't a separate piece. I lost out on... Yeah, what's this? Like, shoot, man, 19 dev? Is it important? Yeah, it's important-ish. Yeah. We are on the Great Powers list now, but still, uh, you know, nowhere near powerful enough to get, you know, uh, to accomplish our goal. We need more. We might need to annex all our subjects here. That might be enough. Shoot. Let's start annexing Iraq too, man. There we go. There's Ardabil annexed. Yeah, honestly, if everything works out, if these other guys don't expand too much, our final war might be versus the Mamluks here, depending on if the Ottomans are willing to help out. They're still busy with this. So yeah, Iraq is getting annexed. We're definitely going to get, you know, uh, half of their dev we already have half we're gonna get the other half once we annex them and then i think uh once we're done with that and once the ottomans are done with this they have taken constantinople by the way of course uh we're gonna hit the mamluks gonna give syria their cores back and i'm probably gonna take some more stuff over here also i haven't uh started devving colonialism yet because i want to do it in these uh cheaper iraqi provinces that we're gonna get they're the only uh farm ones around here okay iraq is done we've just annexed them let's assess the situation here the mammoths are fighting tunis so eh, they'll be at least some of their armies will be there uh they have grown quite large but let's do a reconquest for Homs, for example or halab the ottomans would come in a lot of their allies wouldn't come in there we go this should be the final war i've said that a trillion times so far and it hasn't been but i think this is gonna be it and actually, even while we're in this war, I'm going to start uh, pushing for what you call it for. Yeah, for colonialism in Baghdad. Oh, I can't upgrade the center of trade now. So is it really the cheapest? I mean, yeah, yeah, it is. Let's activate Encourage Dev right there. Just bump it up a couple of times, expand infrastructure and um, yeah, let's start pushing. I don't have that much admin points, so I'm just going to use uh, Mill and Diplo here, especially. And uh, there we go. The war with the Mamluks is done. Uh... <laughs> I just got a call for a delivery, and I actually got up and left the game on pause. I just noticed that now, so that's why I lost a trillion manpower, but apparently we've won the war. <laughs> yeah, let's give Syria all these cores back. This will, of course, make the Ottomans break the alliance with me, but it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to take some stuff over here that I've occupied, like... um. Like this right here, man. Yeah, I think that's as far as we can go. I'm satisfied with that. Let's peace out. Okay, now let's assess the situation. We can become a kingdom just like that. More govcap, yay. And uh, our current dev is 567. Oh, yeah, more than enough, man. Perfect, perfect. I like that. Now we just got to wait a little bit for colonialism to spread. And um, yeah, yeah, we're we're actually uh, chilling right now. I'm even gonna not do that. Instead, I'm gonna core stuff up, and then I'm gonna take the second to last idea in religious. Conversion is going okay, honestly. Yeah, expected. Also, just wrapped up religious. There's a policy, missionary strength versus heretics. It'll help out with these two. And actually, after developing uh, some of these provinces over here a little bit, because they were around 80-ish percent, all of them, we have finally uh, the ability to embrace colonialism. Of course, we don't have money. Uh, I can't take burger loans, but it doesn't matter at this point. I'm just going to take out a bunch of regular loans. And just like that, colonialism has been embraced. And now that we have let a month tick, what is this? Oh, what's going on here? How did this happen? 
whatever. Either way, now that we've led a month tech, we can notice that we are on the Great Powers list. Number four, by the way, with colonialism embraced with a couple of nations with colonialism below us. And with that, after previously wiping out Karakuyunlu, this challenge is a success. Now let's spin the wheel and see which nation we're going to play next time. Please let it be someone people have heard of. Please. All right, right here we are in the Wheel of Pain. There it is. I finally fixed a rock right here. About 70 nations left to go. Let's click and spin and see which nation we're going to play next time. Please, Normandy, Gascony, something like that, maybe. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Next time we're playing Morea. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what I should do as Morea next time to break free from Byzantium, which should be easy enough, and become a great power, which won't be that easy, um, and make Byzantium not exist. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot, and if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them, and you can become a member today and join the Discord, the link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.